What's up guys, it's Jay Banks. I'm back with another video. So, it's been like seven months since I posted the video. You know, it's been a while. But there are reasons behind that. And I, I have three reasons as a matter of fact. Reason number one, subscribers. Number two, the views. Number three, the content. So number one, um, I wasn't really getting a lot of subscribers or, or views because you know I'm YouTube. I'm, I'm new to it, and what I've what I've learned over time is you can't just come to YouTube thinking that you know once you make a video, you know you're gonna get all the views in the world. Well, the thing is, you have to give it some time, you know, let people start watching your content, and just let it share and flow, you know, on the internet. And that's that's what I've learned. Now the content, I'm just the type of guy. If I'm going down the road and I think about some, you know, something random. You know what? I'm not gonna make a video about that. And it's, it's just, I was just putting out random content that wasn't really hitting on anything. And you know, I just kind of got discouraged. But um, guys and girls, if you're gonna start making YouTube videos, never get discouraged because that's just a part of it. You know, if, if you're new to YouTube, you know, obviously your 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 subscriber count or your views, it's, it's, it's not gonna be anywhere. And like I said, just, that's just a part of it. So the first step in purchasing the house was going out to the bank and speaking with a banker. Um, I found out it's my house, the Regis Bank, in which uh, I've known her for like five years. The banker who I talked to, I've known her like five years, which is a good thing. So she knew how I was about my credit, you know, paying bills on time, stuff like that. So I sat down to talk to her about loans and telling her that I wanted to buy a house. And we pretty much figured out that the best loan for me would be a USDA loan. A uh, USDA loan is a zero down payment um, guaranteed loan. Um, you're pretty much living in a rural or suburban area in the county. It's nothing out here. You know, if you like staying away from everybody, it's the best loan for you. So the second step is a pre-approval letter. A pre-approval letter is pretty much a documentation showing the lenders your financial history and uh, just pretty much showing them that, uh, you know, this is how much home you can afford. And that, all that's pretty much based on what you qualify for. So once the pre-approval letter got approved, um, I had to go find a USDA approved house. So I went out and looked, found the house that I wanted. Uh, the house went through um, inspections, then went to pass all the inspections, did the walkthroughs, and I liked it. Uh, then we started doing the uh, processing and underwriting. That took a few weeks after that got done. Well, that's pretty much it. I signed the purchase agreement. Once I got done with that, we closed on the house. And that's not, you know, own house. So some of the things that I do when I'm home alone, I simply watch TV or I sleep. I can't really cook, but I'll, I'll learn how to get there. You know, don't, don't judge me. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some of the parts that I've been working on since I've been living here so far. I've been putting up gates. Let me show you how We're still kind of taking this one down. Here's the wood over here under the carport. But on the other side of the house, I wish I could have got a video of it, but I, I didn't get a video of it. Um, it was completely like you can walk through it. It wasn't a fence on the other side. And what we've done since I've been here is we've put up a gate up right here. <laughs> and I mean, still got some wood left over, but that's going to be for the other side of the house. Um, it took like two days to put this gate up. You know, once we first started, we had to measure it out, you know, put some concrete down, let that dry for a day, and then just put up the wood. Nothing too major. They try to walk around this house and show y'all the other part of it. And then I'll give y'all a view of how this house looks. I'll give y'all a street view. So one thing I hate about my house is it's, it's kind of based on a hill. And the, I'll show you how it is. Thank you on the other side. I mean, just walk through this front. Boom, the American flag. Ooh, the Leo flag. Let me show you how this part of the fence. The other part of the fence. And obviously I got my private property, no trespass in here. And like I said, I think, I think it looks pretty good, man. I've always said that I wouldn't live, uh, live in a house that is pretty much based on the hill, but here I am today. Beautiful, beautiful, I know it. And this the hill, man, it sucks. The yard, man, it's, it's, it's freaking big. Um, it could use some work though, because the previous owners, the neighbors were telling me that um, they put some, they put some, uh, I can't think, they put some dirt down 
and forgot to smooth it out. So it pretty much made a big old mud hole. Just a lot of trees. Well, good thing about where I live, I live in a county area um, and I can burn stuff. I have a burn bear in the backyard and like unwanted trash as far as cardboard boxes, anything of that nature or wood, I could burn it. <clears throat> and that's actually what I have to do here. So I'm a big fan of Amazon. You can never go wrong with Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, if you're one of those eBay guys like I was, and you just feel like eBay is better than Amazon, you gotta try it. Because the first time I tried Amazon, I fell in love with it. I fell in love. So speaking of burning boxes, I think I'm gonna go ahead and burn this box that I just showed y'all because if I don't burn it now, then it's never gonna get burned. So as I'm burning this box, I'm gonna talk to you guys about good parts about neighbors and bad parts about neighbors. Um, so one of the good things about me and my neighbors, I'm blessed to have like friendly neighbors and people who are happy to, you know, welcome you to the neighborhood. Um, I guess if you had bad neighbors, you know, it'd make your life a little bit more miserable, uh, miserable because, you know, you have, you have neighbors that watch over your house while you're not home and, you know, tell you, you know, suspicious things that they see when you're not there. And then you have those neighbors that for some reason hate your guts. I hate to see you, you know, be successful. I hate to see a lot of people over your house. I like to call the police on you for making a lot of noise. Just little dumb stuff like that. So like I said, I'm blessed to have good neighbors. Bro, that just scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> Oh my God, that scared the hell out of me. Oh. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, whatever. And I did not expect that to happen. Thanks for watching.